leader. Broadcasting for all North Texas. Fox 4 News starts now. Between texting, social media, and even a phone call, it's hard for a lot of us to put down the cell phone. How your smartphone addiction could be affecting your brain. Next, coming up on Fox 4 News at 9. Smartphones, the internet, texting seems like our dependence on technology is increasing all the time. Some argue the digital revolution is fundamentally changing how we use our brains and relate to one another. In this week's Fox Forward, Dan Godwin talks with an author who examines the impact of a tech-driven world. So how many of us suffer from disconnect anxiety? That's the feeling of being separated from your cell phone. It's a condition that's more widespread than you might have imagined. Stephen Fogel has given cell phone addiction a lot of thought. His latest book is called Your Mind is What Your Brain Does for a Living. Learn how to make it work for you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for inviting me. So cell phone addiction, it has been studied by some reputable universities and other researchers. Uh, what are the signs to look for? How do I know if I'm simply using my phone a lot or if, if I'm addicted to it? The chances are we're all addicted to it. The, uh, it, it there's no way not to be addicted to it. The, it the, the answer is, is can you find time to have for yourself? Can you, are you comfortable leaving your phone at home? An example would be almost none of us feel safe leaving our cell phone at home and going away for the weekend. And so what are the consequences of that, of our increasing dependence on cell phones, technology, the, inter the internet? We stop having a mind of our own. Today, kids write in 140 characters. No one knows how to write a letter anymore. The cell phone addiction has taken away personal connection. We no longer are training children how to talk to their families or each other face to face, only digital to digital. Every human being is in fast forward at a velocity we cannot even imagine that didn't exist 10 years ago. And it's the technology yeah. that's, uh, and, uh, and one of the points you talk about is, is finding that balance between the human experience, which is so essential. And we're losing and the balance. As a society, we're losing it because the cell phone is such a good distraction not to think. But what you're concerned about and what seems to be happening is people less skilled about with human eye to eye communication. It's a, from our point of view, it's a shame that humanity as we have known and loved it for the first, uh, maybe the last 5,000 years will not be the humanity of the future. I guess my earlier point is though, there is a downside to all this dependence, addiction to technology. You're saying it doesn't, although we're immersed in it, it doesn't have to be a it negative corrosive. Look, it won't look like a downside 20 years back. It looks like a downside this point 20 years forward. We're used to the life we have, but uh, there will be a really good life coming up in the future and technology will allow for things we can't even imagine. Well, Stephen Fogel, thank you so much for coming in. If you'd like to learn more about Stephen's book, we've got a link on our website. Just go to myfoxdfw.com and click on links.